Face-to-face -face learning is so important for all of our children. Um, it's really important for families. We know that being in the classroom, being back at school is critical to a child's mental health, well-being, social development, and just pretty much about everything they want to, want to do and be in the world. There are many different things that schools, families, kids can do to return safely to the classroom. That's going to be done in a staged way using all of these different strategies. Most importantly, vaccination. It's really important that parents and of course all the staff who will be mandated to receive vaccines get on board and we keep the spread of COVID-19 in the community low. In schools, we see a lower rate of spread between younger children. Children in primary schools and in childcare centres tend to spread the virus much less between each other, but they will catch it from adults, which is why it's so important that adults should be vaccinated. Vaccination of children from 12 and above is not mandatory, but it's really strongly encouraged. Vaccinating you, you or, or for parents, your child from 12 and above will help protect them. It'll protect the family. It'll help, you know, stop outbreaks occurring in schools. And importantly, um, let us start to live in a more COVID normal way. Understand parents will have questions about vaccination for their child. And I encourage all parents and teens to seek out credible sources of information. Um, for example, health.newsouthwales.gov.au or other trusted websites. And feel free to ask questions to your GP or other local vaccine provider who, who really knows about COVID-19 vaccines to support your decision making.